sometimes I still wish I was a girl. Even though I've spent so much time and energy and money on becoming a man. The truth is that I love girls. I love being kind and colorful and expressive like the dozens of women who have nurtured me. I remember staring at myself in the mirror with my binder on under my most beautiful dress. It was a simple A-line shape, blue with white polka dots on the skirt. The fabric was a thin polyester, a cheap fast fashion thing I had ordered just a few months before I came out. I went through an Audrey Hepburn phase just after I cut my hair short but before I got a binder that worked. I looked, in a word, ridiculous, like a little boy getting into his mother's makeup. It was not the dress, nor was it the binder, but somehow the combination of them that felt like fire ants on my skin. Everywhere fabric touched, burned, stung, shocked my nerves. Every heaving breath I took only intensified all of the feeling. But I so loved that dress that I swallowed my feelings and went to the theater anyway. The first time I beheld my flat chest, hazy from anesthesia, I felt an elation you could only dream of. It is impossible to describe the feeling of being comfortable for the first time, like trying to describe a color without using its name. And for a long time, I was afraid of my dresses, my skirts. I was afraid of being called something I wasn't, or pretending to be something I wasn't. Insecure, perhaps, or tired. Ashamed of the questions and the looks and the rocks and the possibility that hung in the air when I boarded my 1 a.m. bus home after work, all alone. A friend once said, I feel a kinship with women, though I myself am not one. The F on my birth certificate aligns me with them, as does the anxiety I feel alone in a crowded bar. Even though in my new body I can move seamlessly from one expression to the other, mammed at the grocery store, served by the car salesman, who I am changes on the place more than my clothes a stand-in for their expectation more than personal reality. I am ignored by men on the prowl, and I hold my friends drinks when they go to dance. They do not fear me. They know I will not bend their will to mine. But strangers do not cross the street when we are walking the same way at night. We carry our keys in the same hand, regardless of the boots the blouse, and the skinny jeans. The lesbians who love women and are and are not women, who occupy the space not between here and here, but rather off the page altogether. I am not them. I am assuredly here, so much as here is, though others confused may see my reflection. But I and they have more in common than I with any other man. And now, locked in my house, three rooms with no view, with nobody else to decide where on the page I fit or ought to, I lounge in shift dresses and cottage skirts and pink and white over boxer briefs with too much space in the front. And God, I am so comfortable.